Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got another video, another Big D bag. So, let's check it out. Alright, so, this month, um, I got another D-bag in the mail. Now, what's interesting about this is the frequency with which I have been getting these has not really been that, you know, timely because I got one and actually got uh, another one to do a video on that I got like a week later. So I think as products are maybe coming into stock or they're having problems getting, you know, getting their products from the suppliers, it's maybe delaying the shipping a little bit. So you just might want to be mindful of that, like if you make an order and you know you don't get a bag and then all of a sudden you get one bag and then like a week later, like I did, you get another one. You know, it's just something to consider. So let's see what they got in this month's bag. Uh, first thing, we got a gear aid, another gear aid item. A blunt tip knife. Let's see what we got with this bad boy. 304 stainless. You can see there. Looks like it's got a nice sheath. It's got a sheath that has a lot of places to, to put some uh, you know some some cordage so you could put it to a bag. It's got a serrated blade and a line and a, and a line cutter there. So Handy nice, uh, handy knife to have. It says three inch blade length, only weighs six point six ounces, three or four stainless. Another gear aid item. Like I said, I don't really see too many problems with the gear aid products. I uh, haven't really used a ton of them, but it seems like it's 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 not bad. You know, like this this knife, you know, is probably probably a good knife. Let's see what else we got. We got some next level. What are these? What are these things? These are elastic bands that says they're small tools and accessory holders. And there is what six of them in here? Oh, two. Quantity two. Six elastic band slots. Okay. Velcro backed. So it says here on the back you can use them for drill bits, screwdrivers, pens, pencils, markers, fishing hooks, sunglasses, pretty much anything else that you can fit into the bands. And yeah, you can see there the little picture right here of some stuff that's in it. There's two of these in here. Okay. I guess that's handy. And we got 12 survivors. Uh, what is this? A sharp and spark. It is a diamond sharpening stone and a knife sharpener oh it has a fire rod even has a uh, diamond serration file cool very very handy and like i said it is from the 12 survivor brand so this is obviously another uh, company that they source products from and you can see there on the on the back if it focuses get my head out the way but yeah just a nice little uh Nice little sharpener. Has a ceramic triangular bit sharpener, of course, tungsten carbide triangular bit sharpener, diamond sharpening stone, leather strop. Oh, it's got a strop on it, okay. Nice. Sweet. So there's that. It's nice they give you a knife too. Alright. This is a Coglins multi multi tool. Call it a camper's tool. 14 function. Just a just a little multi-tool there you can see on the back. It's got a picture of what it is. And I'm not gonna I'm certainly not gonna knock the, the people that own uh, the company, uh, the the D-bag, but this I've seen a lot of these products so far in their bags and like this this thing here. Um, I have looked at this and comparing this to something like a 
really any other brand of multi-tool this is just really on the lower end of the price scale and probably the reliability scale but I'm actually going to do a review of this versus uh, two other multi-tools that are at different price points just to let you guys see the difference and at the end of the day a lot of survival stuff like this you do to a point you do get what you pay for if you buy lower end gear you tend to get a lower quality so that's just something to keep in mind and we got a big item here another 12 survivor item just a uh, paracord grenade let's see usually these things have a bunch of other stuff with them uh, let's see 27 piece kit includes survival essentials fishing kit okay so it's got it does have a bunch of other stuff with it and it doesn't really say what it is it just says 27 piece kit includes survival essentials it's not very helpful but it says it does come with it and hey it's a paracord grenade one of those things i ever unraveled it it ain't ever going back to looking like a grenade so just saying but hey it's cool it's just another item that will not go to waste and then we got another gear aid item a cooling towel and i have a feeling this is just one of these and these like i actually like this shirt i have on it's one of the wicking shirts or wicking material rather and it's got a little bag so you know you see there and this is the little zipper the little zipper bag it comes with so say how big it is does not but of course how these things work you just get you some cool water saturate it ring it out wrap it around your neck good to go and let's see and we got the little card that they give you now in this bag let's see if we actually got everything number one we got the rescue knife got it 12 survivor sharpen spark got it cooling towel got it utility holder got it paracord survival orb oh they call it a survival orb the paracord grenades a survival orb is that actually what they call this thing oh yeah paracord orb they just happen to make it look like a grenade so we got that and we got the Coglins camper tool multi-tool so we got everything this month and like i said be on the lookout i am going to do a review of the multi-tool versus a leatherman and I'm, I'm not going to be too terribly dishonest <laughs> with the review. I'm not just going to slam this thing. But uh, I think I looked this up on Amazon. I think you can get this for like 10 or 12 bucks. Don't quote me. But when I do the video, I'll have all the ac more accurate information on it. And the Leatherman, of course, uh, I think I'm going to use a rebar. And I've got a, I think it's a Gerber multi-tool that is around 20 ish dollars and just show you how these guys stack up against each other so just kind of be on the lookout for that and that's it for this d bag like i said shipping uh is a little bit sketchy but i won't hold it against them just because of what's going on in the world right now and probably the availability of products and then logistically getting all those products to you in a timely manner kind of got to be a little lenient about that but Thanks for watching, and actually this is going to be a double upload, so I'm going to be wearing the same shirt. So, catch you in the next video. Thanks.